Hello. Okay. Hi. My name's John. Uh, today I'm going to uh, talk about well describing people. Okay. So um, I think we'll just go through it. I've got what do we seven seven words that we can use to describe people. Um, all right. So let's go start with the, the top one. Soft spoken. Soft spoken. Person that speaks quite low, like quietly. Yeah, so soft spoken person is someone who speaks softly, very like quiet. The opposite would be, of course, loud. But, uh, so that's the opposite. So soft spoken is someone who speaks quietly. Okay. The next one, self conscious. Self conscious. Um, the opposite of self conscious would be like uninhibited. Okay. So if you're like self conscious, uh, if then then you are concerned or worried about what people think of you that's your self-conscious but if you're uninhibited that means that it doesn't matter you feel free to be as you are feeling uninhibited okay so that's the opposite um well behaved uh so if someone acts um, act appropriately. They're well behaved. But if someone uh, doesn't act uh, as they should, they're, um, well, the English would say naughty. Or uh, you could say he's uh, badly behaved. Um, also, we could say like well, well educated. So if uh, someone has a, a good education, so they're well educated. Um, okay, uh, left or right-handed. Okay, so just to get, just to make sure that you know which one is your left and which one is your right. Uh, this is, this is my left, and uh, this is this is this is my right. Okay, this is my left. And this is my right. Well, myself, I, I'm I'm right-handed. I'm right-handed. So I write with my right. I throw with my right. Um, what else do I do with my right? Um, that's about it. Um, but um, yeah, so it's more common. Uh, it's more common to see people write that are right-handed. Um, okay. Uh, the someone who is uh, he's middle aged, uh, so someone who is in their like third, I think late thirties, early forties. I think they're considered middle aged, um, or uh, you know the the sort of opposites would be like very young or very old. But if you're in the middle, that's middle aged. Um, also for money, if you're like middle class, so you have not too much money, but not too little money, so you're middle class. Um, easy going. So, for example, um, I think that I'm pretty easy going. That means that, um, I'm pretty flexible, and if uh, people want to do something, then I feel comfortable about doing it. I'm not so sort of stuck and controlling about, um, you know, what, what I do all the time. So I'm easygoing, like flexible. Uh, good looking. Um, well, let's see who's good looking. Who would be considered good looking? I'm not sure, but uh, well, another word for good looking is handsome. Uh, the opposite would be ugly. Okay. 
So there's, here's just a few words that you can use. And what, what I would suggest that you do is that I want you to look at these words, um, think about them, and think about yourself and maybe other people that you know. And, you know, uh, maybe think about them and use these words to describe maybe yourself or other people. So are you soft-spoken? Or are you loud? Are you self-conscious? Are you uninhibited? Is your little brother well-behaved or is he naughty? Are you left-handed or are you right-handed? Are you easygoing? Are you middle-aged or are you very young? Are you good-looking or are you ugly? Okay, so um, we're going to do a little game, okay? Okay, so here's the game. I'm going to describe something and you have to match, okay? The word on the left, the part, like the, the, the adjective on the left, with the part on the right. Okay. So, um, you are left or right. Handed, that's right, very good, left handed or right handed. Okay, someone who is, like, they're flexible, you know, they're, you know, it's, they're not sort of stuck in their ways. They are easy going, that's right, easy going. All right, uh, let's see, someone who is, um, who speaks kind of softly. They are soft spoken. Okay, someone like who could it be? Uh, like handsome, so they are good looking. That's right, good looking. Um, someone who um, uh, is uh, acts appropriately in the situation. They are well behaved. Okay, someone who is like uh, in their forties. They are not too and not too. They are middle aged. And someone who is. Um, well, the opposite is uh, uninhibited. You are, well, of course, it's the only one left, so it must be self-conscious. Okay, I hope you didn't cheat and wait for my answer. Um, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you want some more fantastic lessons, go to www.ingvid.com.